with diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life. This wonderful planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidences which pinpoint the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today we present to you part six of a 14-part series titled The Secrets of Venus. A discussion by Supreme Master Ching Hai with Supreme Master Television staff concerning the detrimental impacts of the meat diet on human health, the environment, and ultimately the health of our planet as well as other planets. We always have to be thankful to the sun and the moon and the stars. They're all great beings, all great beings. They're there to make us happy, happy, yes. And remind us of the glories of heaven, glorious heaven. Yeah, shining, beautiful heaven. Thank you, Master. Welcome, love. Hi, Master. Mm. Yes? Um, hi. Hi. Uh, hey. Thank you for talking about the sun. Actually, um, I'm, I really enjoyed watch the sunset. Yeah, that's good. Sunset and sunrise is a good time to watch, not midday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one time I had um, an experience. We were watching the sunset mm -hmm. and suddenly I tell her, oh, did you, did you see that? And she said, yes, they are telling us hi. Yes. It was like, yeah seeing all the hands saying, hi, hello. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, tell yes. you, they're loving and they're kind. They bring us happiness yeah. all the time, all day, all night, 24, seven. Yes, that's true. It was very beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So kind. Yes, so kind, yes. Ah, good, huh? I have proof now, hey? <laughs> yes, and? I have some questions about UFOs. Tell me. I mean, Supreme Master TV, we had the news about how more people are reporting UFO sightings this year. Mm. Uh, why is that? Ah, because they worry. This UFO, they came from us. I told you there's some more advanced beings that live underground. Yes, I told you long, 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 long time ago, no? Yes, yes. They came from down there and came up because if our planet is in trouble, say, like, engulfed by gas and all that, they will also be in trouble. Maybe less a degree. It depends on how much trouble we have in here. They will have also problem down there. So these uh, UFO are homemade, huh? <laughs> oh. And are there UFOs from Venus who come to visit us? No. No, they're not interested. Oh. Are there yeah. many UFOs from the people underground? Yeah. Do they have a message for us? Oh, they do, they do. Um, well, I guess I have said somewhere before, but of course they wish that we have peace with each other. Yes. And with all beings all around us. Because that's the only way to live our life. Yes. yes. But of course, they cannot interfere, huh? They know the karmic consequence. They know the karmic pattern that whatever we have done, we will have to pay for it, good or bad. So they will only 
stand by and watch. Yeah? Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Are you happy with my answer? Yes, I am. Thank you so much, Master. And you always more beautiful. Mm, you are beautiful. And you guys get more, you know, like well kept and full yeah, <laughs> and happier. Yes. Yes, we are very yes. happy, Master. Thank you so yeah, much. I'm glad you're happy there. All of you are good, good. Try so hard to work. Thank mm. you so mm. much. You're welcome, love. You're welcome so much. <laughs> Hi, Master. Uh, will the time for living as Presbyterian come soon, at least for spiritual practitioners? No, no, not so soon, not so soon. It's not requested by heaven. As long as you are vegan, we can save the planet already, and heaven is happy. We cannot leapfrog too quick because of the habit to pattern of humankind. Yes? Yes. I wish it would be like that, but it's not uh, that necessary. It would be better, of course, if all become breatharian. Yes. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi. I'm happy Beautiful to see you again. Beautiful Arabian night. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Master, princess, why yes. have so many Masters been born in the Middle East? Like Jesus, like Muhammad, uh -huh. like uh, um, Moses, uh -huh. like uh -huh. uh, Abraham? <laughs> uh-huh. Many, all of them, okay. I don't know, all ah. the masters. Yes, yes, I understand. There have been masters all over the planet, yes, over centuries. It's just in some country they have a system of recording. In some countries they did not, okay? Yes, that's that. Huh? Thank you, thank you, Master. You see, for example, I'm just telling you an example. Yeah? yeah? It also depends on the disciple enthusiasm also, you see? For example, Buddhism, yeah? It spread all over China and Asia, yes? Yes. Because the Buddhist uh, disciples at that time spread out, okay? And recorded his teaching. They had good record machine, namely called Reverend Anand at that time, yes? That's a big computer that the Buddha had. So he records <laughs> all the teaching of the Buddhas and then uh, store it in India where there has been reverence and respect for spiritual masters. So they keep it well at that time. And no war, no destruction, you see? So they can keep all these records. And later on, they spread some of them go to China. And then the Chinese has a monk called Xuan Chuang. And he happened to be a prominent monk, namely he was a brother, not blood brother, not biological brother, but sworn brother of the king at that time. So the king sent him to India to request all this beautiful sutra that has been housed in India at that time. So Xuan Zhuang was also lucky, went through all over in peaceful country, and of course had the blessing of the king and had his power. So he was successful in bringing back all the Buddhist sutra and translate it into Chinese. And of course, China was a powerful kingdom. And of course, the king believed in Buddhism. The whole country believed in Buddhism, yes? And then from China, it spread all over China at that time. It's like the main kingdom for all the country around. All the country around China has to offer their tax or everything every year and had to recognize China as the main power, as a big brother power. You see what I mean? Yeah. Therefore, Buddhism spread all over. Huh? Where else? For example, Jainism or Sikhism doesn't spread anywhere. Not because Sikhism is inferior or Jainism was inferior to Buddhism. It just has no instrument. You see what I mean? Yes. Yes, I um, might not have enough disciples to think of, to go, you know, the situation is different, the development is different. Therefore, you see, Jainism is exactly just like Buddhism. Yes, Sikhism also have people to do good. We know that because I told you guys to give the extract 
of the different religious teachings so that people can have a comparative study through our television. You know that, yes? Yes. So for Jainism, Buddhism, Sikhism, they are the same. And the main principle is the same. But Buddhism spread all over Asia. Jainism didn't. Sikhism did not too, not too much. You see what I mean, honey? Yes, Master. Yeah, all right. So every country, every period of time, there are also masters. Not just in Middle East. It's just probably the recording system that time wasn't very, very uh, favorable. That's all, okay? Okay, thank you, Master. My second Welcome. question is, why in this region constantly in turmoil? Will yeah, you Middle soon East, see the yes. day when there will be peace in the Middle East? When we are more at peace on our table, everywhere, then there will be peace on earth, okay? Not just in Middle East, but everywhere. Middle East is not the only trouble, warlike region. Everywhere else you look. Yes? Everywhere else. Yes, Master. It's just smaller or bigger, yes? And some region the more uh, magnified and more enduring war. And some region just breaking here, breaking there, yeah? But uh, as long as we don't have peace on our table, there will be no peace on earth. So that's why the vegetarian diet is the beginning of peace on the planet. Yes, Master. Yes. I wish your country all the best, though. Of course, you know that. I'm trying my best. Thank you for your compassionate company for today's episode of Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. Tune in tomorrow for part seven of Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussion titled The Secrets of Venus. And now, Animal World, our co-inhabitants, is up next right after Noteworthy News. May your life be graced abundantly with God's boundless love and blessings. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.